Hello, everybody. A well welcome to you this evening. Before we begin the meeting, there are a few housekeeping items I need to cover. Firstly, I need to advise you all that this is a public meeting. We should be live streamed for public viewing. Stop funding apartheid! Stop funding apartheid! Stop funding apartheid! Stop funding apartheid! Shame on you! 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 I came here for, um, you know, for Christmas tour with our main partners in the UK Amos Trust. So I come through my organization in Bethlehem, it's called Holy Land Trust. We are calling for them to stand for justice and to think about the crimes and the genocide that is happening in Gaza. We are sending a message to those people uh, not to use a double standard. So the way they are dealing with the Ukrainian-Russian war it's totally different than the Palestinian-Israeli war. The Israeli acts can never be justified. An occupation that has been there for the last seven, eight decades. So if people are living in open-air prisons, what do you expect from them? They can't go anywhere. No one can, can visit them. They cannot get their basic things. And this is not to justify any act of violence because I am a pacifist and I, I am completely against any, any kind of, of, of violence. But unless your basic human rights are responded for, Conflicts will always take place. Whatever is going on in the West Bank uh, cannot be compared to the genocide that is taking place in Gaza. But it has been terrible in the West Bank since October 7th. The Israeli military started to implement a new policy on the West Bank, which is more strict for the Palestinians, especially movement of the cities. Uh, movement to the Jerusalem, you know, like Palestinians, they need to go to Jerusalem with a permit, crossing the checkpoints, the checkpoints being almost closed for Palestinian, like uh, all the workers, like hundreds of thousands of Palestinian workers, they are unable to go to Jerusalem after the Gaza war because of closing the, per the, the checkpoints. Palestinian cities and villages in, within the West Bank are completely isolated, like islands. So you cannot access from one, one Palestinian city or village to another, as well as daily arrests and also daily assassinations. So more than 3,500 Palestinians were arrested in the West Bank since the very beginning of this uh, recent war. More than 300 people were killed by the Israeli army until the moment. The war started during uh, the olive picking uh, and the olive harvest season, which is a very important season for Palestinians to harvest their olive groves in, uh, in, the, in the West Bank. And thousands of Palestinian families are uh, forbidden to reach their lands to pick olives because of the increasing of the settler attacks against Palestinians and also for the restrictions of movement and roadblocks and checkpoints and Palestinians are not able to reach their fields and even they are afraid to reach their fields because there is no uh, security. There is a daily attacks by settlers. In South Hebron Hills, they are now evacuating, you know, uh, Bedouin communities from their villages uh, in a way to grab and to annex more land for the settlers. Two days ago, they uprooted more than 100 olive trees in, in Al Khadr, like in a village near Bethlehem in a way to annex these lands Palestinians sharing on social media what's happening on Gaza. They've been arrested by the Israeli military on the West Bank, so it's not separated. Earlier, I've seen the Christmas tree here in London, and I was born in Bethlehem where Jesus was born, right? And in Bethlehem, um, you know, we've decided that 
decorations will not take place uh, this year in such an act of solidarity with our people in uh, in Gaza. So I'm, I'm I'm looking at you know like the Christmas decorations here and the Christmas tree, and I'm like, how could you celebrate Christmas while the city of Christmas is not celebrating? Listen to us. Listen to us. Listen to us. I'm wishing a second warning to you. If you carry on, I'll be forced to close the meeting down and move to a different room. Yeah, but these are our options. I'm inspired by, 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 by a Palestinian friend who always says, if your kid is a drug addict, you will not offer more drugs to them. You will try to stop them and then go on a healing process. So if you really love Israel, you should stop offering military fund for them. We exist and will always exist. We need a solution and we, uh, we need to live in peace. Our, our children deserve um, a good life and a good future. They need, uh, you know, an unlimited sky where they can dream. You are literally funding a genocide. Shame on you. Shame on you as representatives of this council. Blood on your hands. 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 Shame on you, Cam. Shame on you. Shame on you, Shame on you, Shame on you councillors. Shame on you, councillors. Shame on Labour. Shame on Labour. Shame on Labour.